Sanbonan, I made a tweet yesterday, two tweets, <laughs> that upset uh, quite a few people. Not surprised, I was expecting it and it's fine. Let me start here. None of us dress in African attire anymore. Most of us dress in Western clothing. It's a fact. Most of us, almost all of us, don't use African medication anymore. It's only now and then people go to easy nyanga. Otherwise, we go to pharmacies, we use Western medication. Uh, we go to doctors and nurses in these hospitals and clinics. A lot of us don't have a, an intrinsically African diet anymore. We eat Italian food, we eat Japanese food, uh, we eat American food. A lot of it, by the way. Um, we don't eat traditional African food on a regular basis. That's a fact. So... When I'm going to say something like, I think we need to scrap the 10 official languages in South Africa and make English the only official language, it only holds that people are going to get upset. And then what happens is they come and they be fake woke and fake uh, indigenous cultural activists. And when they're fighting me, they're obviously fighting me in English. I understand that we were colonized. I understand it wasn't pretty. I understand that our forefathers were beaten. They were beaten, they were defeated, their land was taken. Our economy to this day is still uh, largely owned by a minority of white people. And according to Mwelet Zimbegi, we're still serving the British, colon uh, the British monarch and we're still somewhat a British colony. I understand it; it's upsetting. And yes, a lot of you think language, you know, is a part of our culture and what, what. But again, how are you dressed? The bulk of your day, what language are you speaking? Your favorite music? What language is it in? Your favorite movies. What language is it in? You're lying to yourself, not to me. <laughs> I don't care. You're lying to yourself. Your politicians in parliament, 99% of the time are speaking in English. Business transactions, 90% of the time are in English. When you're speaking to your kids, whatever your kids are watching, where they go to school, the stuff you watch on the internet, the, the vast majority of it is in English. These other languages are a hobby. It's just a nice to have. It's like Heritage Day when you guys dress up in your superhero uniforms and wear my peshu and other rubbish. I was, I was, I'm a help, happy culturalist. I'm happy to support culture where it is genuine. That's why I get upset with conversation around the Lobo Olo because people no longer have the foundation of what it means to be an African child. But then when it suits them, conveniently, they now want to... Be like, oh, but I'm cultural. This is my culture. You're fucking lying. Your culture is wearing Western clothing and listening to hip hop and watching movies from Hollywood and eating pizza and sushi and all the fucking other shit. You drive nice cars and you live a soft life. That's not fucking African. So when Penel comes and says something which triggers you of let's make English an official language, it already is. I'm actually saying something that's already there. You're going to pretend to be upset and hurt. You're not upset and hurt. Language is a tool of connection. Before Isis Zulu, there were other languages. Before Isis Ndebele, there were other languages. Before uh, Chitonga, there was other languages. Language evolves. We were colonized, we were beaten. There were people who were Zulu, probably spoke their own languages. But when the Zulu nation was united under Ushaga, they then all adopted the Zulu language. That's how it works. When you marry a woman from another tribe somewhere and she comes into your family and she adopts your family, you have, in effect, colonized her. She's now going to use the language that is used by the majority of the people around her. That's how it works. You can get as upset as you want, but these are futuristic ideas. We live in an era of globalization. We're trying to plug into the world. This silly idea of going back and trying to develop our languages to fit the globe and coming up with words for computer and manufacturing and export and tax breaks, it's not going to work. It's a cool idea, but we're so far behind. And you're going to waste a lot of time when the next black child is mastering English and moving into the globe and fucking taking over. That's how it works. Keep your languages, your indigenous languages for hobbies. Use them for cool things like the Lion King and Sarafina and stuff. That's cool. Use them in movies as like a foreign language. It's nice. But the truth of the matter is at maximum, you'll only use your languages for 5% of the time. When it comes to making money, when it comes to business, when it comes to building with your kids, when it comes to the internet and social media and programming language and whatever, the fact is it's English. There are black kids in China and South Korea in the Middle East 
in, in Eastern Europe that are currently out there teaching them English because they realize how fundamentally important this language is. Fuck the queen, fuck the British monarch, fuck the colonizers. Keep the language because it works. It is descriptive. It allows us to connect. It is a great language. You get so emotional over a language as if when you speak English, it cuts your tongue and you start bleeding. There's no such thing. Guys, get over your fucking selves and ask deep questions and be a critical, deep thinker. You are not living a cultural life in every other aspect, but you want to pretend like you want to protect your language. When you're going to universities that teach English, when you're macking on a girl in English, you're lying to yourself and I'm here to tell you to stop fucking being a liar and a hypocrite. I love you. Pain you all the black pain. Let's move into the future. Penalism is the answer.